Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a demo of how I create personally my CNN graphics to make my election night videos on Google Slides. Now, you can use Google Slides to pretty much make any kind of graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the uh, CNN graphics, uh, but there are multiple different things that you can do with Google Slides. You can create custom graphics, you can create NBC, you can do any variation on any of this. And also, don't follow exactly everything I'm doing because that's kind of plagiarizing my graphics and I would rather that you add your own unique twist to what I'm doing instead of directly copying every single thing I do. Uh, so without further ado, let's begin. So first I'm going to show you how to, I create the background. That's going to be the subject of episode one in uh, the series. Um, so first of all, you get a blank presentation, obviously. Um, that's what I have right here. You get rid of these, uh, these title things by using control X. You should just be able to eliminate those. Wow. This is a slow computer. And there you have a blank, uh, screen. Now the tricky thing about this is that yes, you are going to have a, um, I'm getting ahead of myself there. Um, you are going to have, uh, your shapes go off screen. Like you are going to have a part of it. That's like, you can't fit it perfectly within the slide box, which is why it's a little bit tricky and somewhat confusing, but Google slides does allow for you to have objects outside of the slide box. Um, so we're going to go to shapes up here. It's right next to the image icon. Uh, right up here, it's uh, sh under shapes. It also has arrows and calls and equations. You can use all that stuff if you're using custom graphics, but CNN graphics does not require that. Um, and what you want to do is you want to click rectangle. Now, you can make this, uh, you can ideally make this anything. You could make it a square if you wanted to, but I'm going to make it a really long rectangle. And I mean a really long rectangle. Um, I'm going to try to make it fairly thick, so like this, and that is good. Okay, so once you are done dragging um, and creating the size you want with your mouse, you simply let go and it will create this for you. Now, the next thing you want to do is color it. Uh, you can choose a border color. I'm not sure that really matters. You can just do transparent, like I don't care. It's kind of whatever you want to do, but as this is going to be the corner, uh, we are going to go to gradient under the color icon right here, and we are going to, oh heck, I don't want to get into custom gradients yet, although those are important. Um, so we are going to just choose the basic red gradient, and what you're going to do is, if you can see here, I can rotate this. So there's this little circle right up here. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm treating everybody like they don't know what the heck they're doing, which they probably don't, honestly. I mean, it's Google Slides, okay? I mean, people should be able to know how to do this, but apparently they don't, which is why I'm making this video. And there, okay, so there's this little circle anyway. Um, there's, a, there's a little circle, and what you wanna do is you wanna click onto that circle and it will allow you to rotate and show you how many degrees you are rotating it by. Now, I'm gonna say like 50 degrees seems about right. Yes, that's, that's fine. And then you're gonna drag it, you're gonna take it and you're gonna drag it uh, to the screen, to the bottom of the screen, the corner of the screen right there. And then you're going to scroll down, and because I didn't make this thick enough to cover up the entire thing, you see that corner right there? We don't want that to show, because if you go to present, then it's going to uh, show that. Uh, so you then take this, and basically that is what you do. That's literally it, guys. Now let's go to present mode and see how it looks.
Okay, honestly, that should be a little bit more in the corner. I'm going to look at my graphics right here on my phone. Um, but you get the idea. That's the general idea of what you want it to look like. Um, and yeah. So now that we've got that, um, what CNN generally looks like, if you watch my videos, um, what CNN generally does. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm looking at my graphics right now. That is 50 degrees is not good enough. It should be even steeper than that, according to what I'm seeing. Um, let's see how that looks now. Sorry, I'm I'm just I'm just making it up as I go along, guys. That's literally all I'm doing. Okay, that's pretty satisfactory, I would say. So what you want now is to you can do one of two things. You can create another shape. I'm just going to do that so that you can see me do it again. But I would ordinarily just copy this and then make changes to it. Um, but anyway, I'm going to create a thicker one this time. Um, actually, way thicker. That's pretty thick. And, um, okay, so we've got that created again, and now you want to, again, I don't care about the border. Just do whatever you want about the border. I don't care. Um, and now this time, because it is CNN, we are going to make this part blue. Now, um, I'm not going to create a custom graphic for this. Um, that looks pretty good. If you see right here, uh, I went to under the lighter blue. And I chose Dark Cornflower Blue 2 um, under that. So what I'm doing now is um, I'm going to create this and put it at the same angle as the previous one. And I'm going to drag it like this. And you know what? That's actually not totally lined up. I need to angle it even more. Okay, that looks pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, now what you do is... Yeah, okay. So that's how it's supposed to look, right? I mean, you're supposed to have these... Uh, these shapes in the background. Now, we it's, it's obviously not done. We still have to continue with the background. And um, so without further ado, I'm going to do that next. I will show you how I do the shadows on it in a second. Um, but for right now, we're just going to focus on uh, creating the rest of the shapes first. I'm going to make that a little bit thinner. There we go. So I'm going to do this again. Um, I'm just going to, you know what, better yet, just you control. Uh, if you don't know where control is, it's literally in the bottom uh, left-hand corner of your key, keypad. Just click the key that has CTRL uh, on it. And then at the same time, click copy. And then do that again, except hit, well not copy, hit can hit the control and click C, excuse me. And then after that, click control again and click V. And there we have it. We have created a separate uh, version. Well, actually the exact same as the initial one. Now this one, oops, this one is going to be thinner. I don't want this one to be as fat. So all you do to change that is you go like that and it will naturally make that thinner. So I'm going to make that even thinner still. And um, maybe make this even thinner. Okay, that's that's approximately right. Don't ask me. This is not exactly how I created mine, because to create mine, I would have I just go back and copy and paste everything. 
Um, so I don't, this is not exactly how mine looks, but this is how mine would look. So anyway, um, so you have two of these and it's hard to see them unless you select them, but you just click here. There's one, you click here, there's the other. I'm going to copy again and paste this uh, new one that I created and I'm going to put that in the corner but I'm going to change the color on it this time I'm going to instead I'm going to change the color I'm going to go to gradient and I'm going to oh let's see here Let's see, what, what what did I use for this one? Okay, that looks pretty good. And so you go to gradient, you select um, the one of the white ones. You can use, honestly, you could probably use that too. Um, that's not the same as I have, but I mean, you do you. This is your stuff, not mine. And so, yeah, you have now a background, but you don't have a finished background quite yet. Because what I'm going to do... Wait, what? Why is there two of them? Okay, there we go. Excuse that. I, I don't know why I created two. Um, oh, yeah, it's because I messed up. Anyway, um... So now what we want to do is, um, now that we have that, um, we want to create the shadow. Um, and to do the shadow, wow, I am, this is actually not taking that long. To create the shadow, you click on the big one, the biggest one of them all. And you go to these three little dots up here that are underneath share and hit format options. And you will see it gives you the option for drop shadow. And if you check the box on drop shadow, then it will give you the option to create a color. Now I obviously just stick with black. Um, you can make the opacity um, less or more. I think the higher you drag it, the less opaque it is. Um, I'm going to hit it at like 81 and see how that looks. And then the angle. Okay, so this is where it gets tricky because you want, you want it to be at like the same angle that this is at. So you have, so mine is like 59.3 degrees. I want mine to be about 59.3 as well or about 60. Then you want to click the distance. Right now it's not showing anything because I haven't clicked distance yet. And why is that not showing up? Oh, you know what? Okay, here's a little nifty trick. The same control button and then the arrow key. So if you hit, so if, if it's not showing up for whatever reason, like if the, you can't see the shadow, um, that means that the big one is underneath the smaller one. And so what you do to fix that then is you click the bigger one, you hit control and you hit the up arrow key and you keep hitting that until you see something. And there you go. See, there's a little shadow there. Now you want the distance to go a little bit more than that, obviously. Um, and so, um... Blur radius, you just you just mess around basically. Uh, drag blur radius pretty far, I guess, um, depending on that. And there you go. So I have a drop shadow on this uh, with my that looks pretty substantial with my distance at forty nine my blur radius at 53, my angle at about 60, and my opacity at around 80. 
So that is essentially how you... Now, I, you know what? I honestly don't like this being so... Well, it's honestly kind of how it's supposed to look. So now that we have that... Um, that's essentially all you need to really do. Um, oh, wait, did I click present? What did I do? Okay, anyway. I accidentally hit something. Sorry about that. <sighs> okay, there we go. Okay, gosh. What the heck is wrong with this thing? Let's see how it looks. And there you have it. That's how your slide will look. That's how your background will look anyway once you complete that. Um, now, why is it doing this to me? Come on. Nobody cares. Okay, there we go. Um, so you have the entire slide covered up. Now notice, when you create the shadow on it, it's going to create a shadow on this side as well. And I typically don't like that. Um, I don't like that because um, that means that it will darken this. I like that to be solid white. So essentially what I do to make sure that this little sliver in between the red and the blue is light is I just create another one of these and I color it white and stick it in between the two and put it on top so that it will... So that it will uh, block that. And then. Okay, we've got to adjust the angle there for a second. Gosh darn it, this computer is slow today. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, anyway, well, I'll, I'll just leave it. That that was kind of proving to be disaster. Anyway, so that's basically how it should look. Once you um, correct the shadow thing there and put it on top, um, then you essentially have a finished background um, to add whatever else you're going to add on top of it. So that is part one to this uh, series. I will be producing more to this series soon, so stay tuned for those. I'll see you later and bye.